The next thing we want to do is we want to open up the soil map tab which is easily able to be found by going up to the top of the screen where it says area of interest and there's a soil map tab right here. You're going to need to click on that and then what's going to pop up is this. So there's the area of interest and now we are into the soil map tab. So as you can tell everything is still uh, shown as far as the land site is concerned. Now we could zoom in closer if we wanted to but I'm not really going to do that since I have been able to find that I am using 93B and 79B which are the soil types. So um, if you need to zoom in further you can but if you can read the numbers and letters you should be in good shape. Uh, so those map units uh, can be found in a legend down here. This map unit legend which shows each of the soil types. It'll say map unit name even though that means the soil type. Each of these soil types are linked with a brief description of the land site that you're going to see in the screen here. So those brief descriptions of, of the land site will also give you some characteristics of the land site uh, that you can use to determine if this soil is going to be safe enough for us to build the foundations of our houses in our residential neighborhood. So let's go back up and look at the crosshair we're at 93B and you can tell that the lot probably goes from 93B into 79B so I'm going to need to be able to find out uh, some information about both soil types so let's go down here and look at 93B first I click on the link and you're gonna find out some information here so you can take a look at all the information um, but we're going to be focusing on certain things Okay, so what is the soil right away? This is summer duck loam, and obviously we're still in the Fairfax County, Virginia. You don't need the, t the actual map unit symbol. You're just looking at the type of soil. The next thing I need to do is I need to go back to my worksheet, and I'm going to scroll down to the next step, step five, and I'm going to click on the Google form, which is going to help me identify all of those things that I just found for soil and the soil type and I'm going to be able to put them into the form. This is not normally what loads. I'll go to the actual live form. The live form is what you will find when you go to that link. So this is it. And you're going to be able to complete these questions here which will then be compiled together with all of the other lots and we're going to be able to do an analysis of the entire site uh, that we're looking at. So that analysis will not only tell us um, the different soil types but it will also tell us about the soil types where they're located and if we're going to be able to build on that land so first things first I want to make sure that I select the lot number your team is currently viewing uh, so let's go to lot number one that's the one I'm looking at right now uh, what is what are the soil types found on your lot you are surveying so let's go back let's go to the results and let's look at the type and we found it, summer duck loam. And there it is, summer duck loam. Loam, I should say. Um, I'm going to come back to all this for the second soil type. So I'm going to go down now. Uh, what are the landforms which make up the land being surveyed? So I'm going to go back. Landforms. Let's look for landforms. Landform drainage ways. Okay. So let's go back over to drainage ways. And let's pick drainage ways and that means that there's a ditch or similar landmass for draining water from an area. Alright, let's go back now and look at the slope. What is the slope? Uh, the slope is 2 to 7 percent and it could also be found lower uh, in the properties and qualities, 2 to 7 percent. So let's go back up to my form, 2 to 7 percent. Let's go back and actually I need to check that again. What is the drainage class of the land being surveyed? The drainage class is right here. That's moderately well drained. Okay, so that's good. Moderately well drained. We obviously don't want poorly drained. Well drained or moderately well drained is good. The last question is going to be what is the frequency of flooding? So this is important. We obviously don't want to build right on the land where there's going to be flooding that occurs all the time or even occasionally. And if it, we do find out that it happens occasionally, that is something that we're going to have to tell our excavation crew so that they are able to bring in additional fill 
and hopefully reinforce the soil so that the foundation does not sink uh, like a sinkhole. Okay, so let's go and find out what the frequency of flooding is. Frequency of flooding. Frequency of flooding, there is none for this particular uh, soil type, so let's go back and go with none. And I'm not going to go through again, but ultimately I would need to go and find the other type of soil. So I did 93B, uh, so I would then need to examine or analyze 79C. So 79C is right here, click on it, and then I would go through the same steps by basically going through and seeing what type of landform, the slope, the drainage type, and additional characteristics that you would find in the map unit description. Once you're finished examining where your lot location is and all of the different types of soils that are going to be in the land that you are going to be building on, you will then need to make sure that the survey has been submitted. In order to submit the survey, there will be a button right here where it says submit, and you will click on that submit, uh, submission button, and then all the, f the forms will be then submitted to me where I will compile them together in a spreadsheet. And then later in the course of the unit, uh, we will be able to take that data from the spreadsheet and analyze it further.